church we pray for our renewing Christ over all our undivided aid fire of the spirit burn for our enduing wind of the spirit fan the Turn to Christ amid our fear and failing. The will that lacks the courage to be free. The weary labors all but unavailing. To bring us nearer, what a church should be. Father's blessing, a true repentance and a faith restored, a swift obedience and a new possessing, filled with the Holy Spirit of the Lord. We turn to Christ. everyone and a very warm welcome to our team service of Holy Communion from Billericay and Little Burstead. The team churches are Christ Church, Emmanuel Church, St John the Divine and St Mary the Virgin. And so all those of you who are watching this morning, we warmly welcome you whether you come from one of those churches or whether you're a visitor. This morning we have a team of people from the Rotary Club of Billericay, of which I am a member, and we're going to tell you about an exciting project to provide clean water to what has now become 3,000 school children in the county of Embu. And this has all been going on during and despite the pandemic. So we'll hear a little bit more about that later on. Uh, Rupert Hankey will be presiding this morning. So shall we just take a moment to be quiet 
as we begin our service. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. And we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now the collect for Trinity Sunday. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love that we may truly worship you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so we come to our confession. Shall we just take another moment to reflect on our week? Is there something that you want to bring before the Lord this morning? Something you said or did that you now regret? Something you left undone? God the Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God, our Redeemer. Triune God, you gather, protect and care for us through your word and by your Spirit. You have done this from the beginning of the world and will do so to the end. Have mercy on us and forgive us for sinning against you. We have not loved one another as we should. We have not sown the seeds of gospel hope. Restore us, Lord. Enable us to give ourselves willingly and joyfully to be of benefit and blessing to one another, that we may truly share one faith, have one calling, and be of one soul and mind, for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May God, who so loved the world, that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, Forgive us our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now we're going to have our Bible readings. Good morning. Our first reading today is taken from 1 John, chapter 3, verses 16 to 18. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. Amen. Our second reading today is from Matthew 25, verses 31 to 46. The sheep and the goats. When the Son of Man comes into his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people from one another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, 
Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came and visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go and visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed into eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They will also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or needing clothes, or sick, or in prison, and did not help you? He will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then you will go away to eternal punishment, and the righteous to eternal life. As many of you know, in 2009, 12 years ago, I was asked if I would go to Kenya with one of the teachers from Buttsbury Junior School. We were going to Shiamanda Primary School and we were part of a diocesan linking classrooms group. There were about 30 of us in the group that went all going to different schools. Shiamanda is in the county of Embu, about two and a half hours north of Nairobi. I didn't know why I was going. I was given no particular brief. As far as I could see, I was just going to sightsee and perhaps report back. But when I got out there, it became very clear to me that God was calling me to do much more than sightsee. You cannot see your brothers and sisters in need and not do anything about it. And as a church community, we understand that really well. <clears throat> Over the years, many remarkable things have happened to support the community at Shiamanda. My city law firm raised funds for the school. Buttsbury Infant School raised funds for the feeding programme. And clubs and individuals in Billericay raised funds just a couple of years ago to enable the head teacher's son to go to India for treatment for leukaemia. And so many of you have enabled very poor but bright children to go on to senior school and some are even now at university. These are children who never, ever thought that they could have such an education. But always at the back of everything that the schools tried to do was the lack of a clean, regular water supply. If there was no water, there were no crops for the feeding programme. The children went down to the river to collect dirty water to drink. They were tired from their trips to the river and fell as asleep in class. Lack of a clean supply of water severely affects children's education. We take clean water for granted, but water is truly everything to life. We tried over the years to help, but with global warming, the supply of water, even in the lush region of Mount Kenya, became irregular 
and a burden for the teachers who daily battled with the problem. I'm not going to tell you much more about that because I want the Rotary Club of Billericay to pick up the story of what has been happening during lockdown to help schools in the Embu region have clean, fresh water. Good morning. My name is Malcolm Acors. I'm Foundation and International Chairman of the Rotary Club of Billericay. The Rotary Club of Billericay is part of a worldwide charitable organisation called Rotary International. We work to help people internationally and locally. Our motto is service above self and reflects our attitude in the work that we do without any financial reward. Like many other Rotary Clubs, we like to pair with clubs in other countries which give us access to Rotary Foundation's own charity money through district and global grants. The Rotary Club of Billericay is fortunate indeed to have such an arrangement with five other clubs, Beausoleil France, Alba and Nevada in Italy, Karlsheim Sweden, Basildon and Billericay in the UK. Amongst the group, this arrangement is affectionately known as the double triangular. Each year, one of the clubs takes a turn to host the other clubs in their own town, enjoying fellowship and to plan an international charitable project for all of the group to take part in. In September 2019, it was the turn of the Rotary Club of Beausoleil to host us all. The district governor, a member of the Beausoleil Club, asked if I would bring a charity project to the business meeting of the visit as a proposal from the Rotary Club of Billericay, as we had not proposed one for some years. As international chairman, I put it to the members of the Rotary Club of Billericay to consider a project and they agreed it would be a good idea to do some additional work in the village of Chiamanda, Kenya where one of our members, Reverend Margaret Fowler and her church community with Billericay Junior School and the Rotary Club of Billericay had already been active in providing facilities for the betterment of the children in Chiamanda. We asked Reverend Margaret, she agreed to ask Lucy Magobo, the head teacher of the Chiamanda Primary School, that they wanted what they wanted. Lucy replied by return saying, what we really need is water. If we had a bore well to provide fresh clean water free of charge, it would save our children going to the river every day to collect polluted water for cooking, hygiene and drinking. Water would also provide the ability to grow crops for our feeding programme in the school kitchen. This request was put to our Rotary Club, which was immediately approved. It was decided that we would first build a pilot well in Chiamanda Primary School to show it could be done cheaply and effectively using local labour, and also to demonstrate what a difference it made to the children in their general well-being. In 2019, Margaret met with the local Rotary Club of Embu to ask if they would partner us so that with the double triangular and Rotary in Kenya we would be able to apply for a district grant. She also informed them that the double triangular clubs had agreed to take part in the project back to their clubs. We hoped that each of the clubs would provide a contribution to a well in other schools in Embu. Margaret returned from Kenya with the names of seven further schools that would benefit from this project. Good morning everyone, most of you know me. I'm Reverend Margaret Fowler and I've been a member of the Billericay Rotary Club since 2015. As you know, I've been visiting Shiamanda Primary School in Kenya since 2009. Since my very first visit, I have felt concerned because of the lack of clean water in the school. The children were gathering water to drink and clean their classrooms from a local river 
which was very polluted. Over the years, I worked with the head teacher, Mrs. Lucy and Bogle, and helped to raise funds for a large water tank, which was fed by a local water supply and also rainwater in the rainy seasons. However, due to global warming, the area has had less rain and piped water was often only on once or twice a week. So the children went back to the river to collect water. This often made them very sick and they also got tired from collecting the water and this was affecting their education. In 2019, Malcolm Acors asked me to contact the Shearmander head teacher to ask her what would help the school most. And after consulting with her leadership team, she came back with the answer that they would love to have a bore well, which would give the school a constant clean water supply. Lucy provided us with a budget cost of £2,400 and we told her that we would use this project at Shearmander as a pilot project to give us the information we needed to dig further bore wells in other schools. I needed to involve the local Rotary Club in Embu in order to qualify for a grant from Rotary Foundation. Through a chance conversation with another head teacher, I made contact with a couple who were members of the Rotary Club of Embu and I was able to meet up with them the day before flying home in March 2019. On my second visit in September 2019, I was able to visit the Rotary Club of Embu who subsequently agreed to partner with us. On my return home, the Rotary Club of Billericay formed a group consisting of Peter Green, Malcolm Acors, Les Shepherd and myself to deliver the project. My role has been to liaise with Kenra, Kenya, receiving reports and photographs of each well during construction. And during this time, Lucy Mbogo has responded to any requests by me very efficiently and we could not have accomplished this project without her valuable contribution. We worked together on the plan to build bore wells in eight schools, but we were now but we now needed to raise the funds. Good morning. My name's Les Shepherd and I'm the president elect of the Rotary of Club of Billericay. Uh, those who know me won't be surprised to see me popping up now that the talk has turned to money. Um, so how did we go about funding this project? Well, the first well was funded using money that we had raised uh, at the 2019 Billericay Rotary Club Soapbox Derby. And this established that we could construct a well at a cost of about £2,400 or a nice round $3,000. For phase two, we needed to find enough money for seven more wells, uh, that being about £16,000 that we needed. And we plan to raise this from three sources. Uh, firstly, donations from the other five Rotary Clubs in our double triangular friendship group who had agreed to support the project. Uh, we asked and they gave us just under £5,000 in total, about £1,000 per club when you average it out. Secondly, we applied for a Rotary Foundation grant of £7,000 from Rotary's Central Charity Fund. Third, that meant that the club needed to raise a further £4,000 ourselves. And as we were unable to do our usual fundraising activities in the COVID climate, we decided to try crowdfunding. So far, so good. But unfortunately, there were more requests for Rotary Foundation grants last year than there were funds available. So we were only granted £3,000 of the £7,000 we had requested. Uh, and thus our crowdfunding target suddenly was doubled to £8,000. So what is crowdfunding? You may have heard of it, you may not have done. It's basically based on the idea that if you were to ask someone to give you £1,000, then uh, they're probably gonna say no. 
but if you ask 100 people um, whether they will give you £10, then they're much more likely to say yes, and thus you will be able to raise the money. And there are several organisations that provide uh, a crowdfunding service on the internet, but we chose to go with Global Giving, which is one of the larger ones and which already had some links with Rotary. One key reason for choosing them was that they provide prizes and bonuses that organisations new to crowdfunding can compete for uh, to help them get started and to attract donors. In order to become a full member of Global Giving and thus qualify for any prizes or bonuses that we might win, we had to raise $5,000, which is a little under £4,000, from at least 40 different donors. Quite a challenge. And with the reduced district grant, of course, we needed to raise about double that if we were going to be able to build the seven wells that we wanted to on top of the one that we'd done as the pilot bore well. We were due to do our crowdfunding in September, but fortunately, as it turned out, we were already committed at that time to do the John Barron Fun Walk. And uh, we therefore deferred the crowdfunding activity to December. And this gave us more time to prepare, which with hindsight was a key factor in our success. It meant that we had time to look at what previous fundraisers had done in order to win the various prizes that were on offer. And we worked out that if each member could find five members of their family or friends to make a one-off donation on the bonus day and two friends or family members to make a donation every month for four months, then we would have quite a good chance of winning a prize for the project with the most monthly donors uh, and also a prize for the project with the most donors on this bonus day. December eventually came and our plans went into action. We contacted friends, family, past work colleagues, churches, the Billericay discussion page and basically anyone we could think of that we knew and we asked them to donate to our campaign and we were delighted to see more donors coming in uh, than we had anticipated, happy to give to our project. In that month, we raised £12,360 in donations with gift aid, and we were also successful in winning $3,500 worth of prizes and bonus money. Since then, the people who signed up to monthly donations have given a further $2,800 and earned us a the $450 bonus. So in total, this works out at about £12,900 that we have raised through crowdfunding. Not bad for a first attempt. And with an £8,000 initial target, we were well above our target. This covers the cost of the eight wells that we originally planned, plus we are able to deliver a further two wells, making 10 in total. Uh, that's about 3,000 children who will have access now to free, fresh, clean water as a result of this project. Good morning. I'm Peter Green. I'm president of the Rotary Club of Billericay. You've heard from the Reverend Margaret Fowler, from our international chairman Malcolm Acors and our president-elect Les Shepherd but it falls to me as this year's president of the Rotary Club to try and summarise where we are. Links between Kenya and Reverend Margaret Fowler go back nearly 12 years, with Margaret arranging funding initiatives with her previous employer, with Christchurch yourselves and with local schools. It has covered a water tank, electricity to classrooms and the administration block at Chiamanda School, a feeding programme for the children there, and educational sponsorship of pupils too poor to be able to afford senior school or university. Our Rotary Club of Billericay was first involved in 2018 when we funded new flooring, glass windows and painting of a nursery classroom. Our next project, as described earlier by the others, was for a desperately needed bore well to provide clean water for Chiamanda Primary School children. 
This was also needed for many schools in the region. Our club's international and foundation chairman, Malcolm Acors, saw the opportunity to help chair Manda's school and other locally schools in the county, eight schools in total. Work started in the Christmas holidays of 2019 and was completed before the end of the year, on time and on budget at £2,400 in total. It provided regular clean water supply that local people could maintain. The water also was used to keep the school clean and hygienic and the school can now grow crops for its feeding program and it provides long-term employment for a parent who looks after the school allotment. Our project is a real international cooperation of Rotary Clubs across Europe in the best sense of the words. The European clubs, which we uh, detailed before, are donating money to us for the project and we work with the Rotary Club of Embu in Kenya, local schools and educational authorities to deliver much needed fresh water to school children there. International cooperation that exemplifies the Rotary principles of fellowship and service above self. As you can see, and has been described by Les, significant funds have also been raised through Rotary Foundation grants and crowdfunding through Global Giving. We are tremendously grateful to all members of the congregations of the churches in Billericay who contributed to our fundraising in Global Giving. We have enough money not only to provide wells at the first eight schools we plan to cover, but for another two wells too. And the latest status, by the end of this month, we should have completed eight wells for eight primary schools and two more scheduled for June. Thank you all for your time and we hope you found it most interesting. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
we're now going to affirm our faith together. So if you would like to, please stand. Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now Christine is going to come and lead us in our prayers. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Strengthen Guli and John, our bishops, our clergy, Paul, Margaret and Rupert, and the lay leaders in this parish. We thank you for Pauline and Stuart and their pioneering service for your kingdom as they reach out in new ways and in love to our community. We pray for your church in this town, this country and worldwide in the service of Christ, that all those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless and guide Elizabeth our Queen, give wisdom to all in authority and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that we may honour one another and seek the common good. We pray especially for peace in the Holy Land, amongst all who live in Israel and Palestine, Arab, Jew or Christian, and for your guidance for all who work there towards peace thanking you for the ceasefire and asking you for your solution to break through in that place and in all areas where there is conflict. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for the Borwell Project, bringing clean water to school children in Chiamanda and other parts of Embu County and for the Rotary Club of Billericay for their fundraising to enable this. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give grace to us, our families and friends, and to all our neighbours, that we may serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, calling to mind those known to us, particularly those affected by COVID, through illness, bereavement, loss of livelihood, family or friends, and those struggling now with how to emerge from the restrictions of lockdown. We thank you for the vaccination programme in this country but we are aware that this is different in other places, particularly in the developing world. And we ask you to show us how to support our brothers and sisters in accessing this vital medicine. Give all those who are suffering courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all your saints, 
we commend ourselves and the whole creation to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave for you 
and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body and our souls washed through his most precious blood and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. You may now want to uh, take some bread and uh, wine to consume uh, at home. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed yourself as Father, Son and Holy Spirit and live and reign in the perfect unity of love. Hold us firm in this faith that we may know you in all your ways and evermore rejoice in your eternal glory who are three persons yet one God now and forever. Amen.
And so we come to our closing prayers. Let's say these words together. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light upon our paths and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all people in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we are almost at the end of our service. I would like to thank the Rotary Club of Billericay for putting together that presentation. If there was anything in that presentation that you would like to ask questions about, you can always ask me or Les Shepherd, the Christchurch treasurer, who is also, as you saw, a member of the Rotary Club of Billericay. We'd be very happy to answer any questions. We're so glad that you could join us this morning and I do hope that whatever you're doing for the rest of the day and the rest of this week, you are blessed. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and all those you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.